recording for the other video. Alright, so we are going to be playing uh, Blue Red Phoenix here. Uh, so I'm sure you guys have probably seen this deck. It's uh, pretty popular right now, like I said. Um, it's just... The lands are pretty basic, so all the ability to just get Blue Red without having any problems. So there's a, a variety of fetches, dual lands, and then a couple basics. Um, it's trying to get Arclight Phoenix off, so if you cast three or more instants or sorceries, um, it will come back during your beginning of combat step from your graveyard. Um, and then it also has other threats with Thing of the Ice, uh, being able to flip that pretty easily, and then Crackling Drake is just an enormous creature with this, in this version. Um, it's got a lot of cantrips, so Ops, Serum Visions, Thought Scours. And then it's got Gut Shots to just try to also get the free spell going. Faithless Lootings to dig further. Lightning Axes, Lightning Bolts, a couple Swift Spears. Um, Thing in the Ice that we mentioned, Arc Lights. The Is It Charm, dig a little bit deeper and a little bit versatile. And then uh, Mana Morphos to uh, just, usually if you can cast a Mana Morphos on turn two um, into a cantrip, then you know, just this card spell, you're just super excited because your Arc Lights are gonna be going off. Um, in the sideboard here, we have a couple Ceremonious Rejections, um, namely for Tron. We got the spells for, and the spell pierces for other decks that wanna get into Counter Wars with us a little bit. Surgicals for the graveyard. Um, and then we've got a variety of burn spells with Rending Volley, and then a Braids with, so we can take out other creatures. We got a Young Paramancer um, to switch our game plan up a little bit and go wide. Blood Moon, and then we've got Angers as well. So, don't really need much more than that. Let's jump into another league. draw okay so this hand doesn't have a second mana source um, it's got a looting for us to drop the arc light into the graveyard which is nice um, if we keep this hand we're probably gonna go swift spirit turn one looting turn two and try to hit another source um, so then we can possibly get this arc like off we're gonna need another land though um, this isn't bad, and I think because it has the looting in here, we're going to go ahead and keep this. Okay, that's really good. We just need to hit another source now. We'd be extremely happy. I mean, another land here, because then we'll be able to go Manamorphose into looting into Bolt to bring back the Phoenix. If not, we'll probably go with a slower plan here and just go looting and then try to set up for with set it up with a different cantrip. Yes, they are. All right, that's a thought scour. We're gonna want to go looting here. All right, we're gonna bend the arc light for sure. I think we're gonna bend the steam vents here because we don't need a we don't need a third source because we have the mana morphos as a land. Now, if we swing and they block, it may be worth it just to bolt the yeah because we need to take out one of their threats. Doesn't seem bad. Here. 
getting a thing in the ice on the board wouldn't be bad either because their thing in the ice is going to be flipping pretty soon. Getting rid of their horror seems like our best bet to stay in this game. So we're gonna hit that for five, discarding discarding a uh, swift spear. No, thing on the ice. We're, we're not gonna need two of them at the, at the rate that we're going. And then we're gonna bolt it. to bring back the phoenix if we can get another hit another cantrip um all right they got another thing in the ice is it more worthwhile so we can go manamorphose into red blue play swift spear thought scour ourselves and then gut shot them swing in the air for three hmm. alternatively we drop thing in the ice and then we do that all next turn as long as we get one more spell it's gonna flip so I, I think that's where we're gonna go because if they then flip thing in the ice we just pretty much lose Oh, I see, see you're playing all Reese. That, that would have been the correct line, yeah. Playing Mana Morphos, then Lightning Axe, then uh, Bolt to get the Phoenix back, so then we would have a threat on board. That is a very good line we did not do. I mean, um, try to get uh, our arc light off and swinging up this turn. I think 
we want to Swiss Spear first. That way it gets the extra trigger. And then... Then we'll Metamorphose. And we're gonna go Blue-Red. Lightning Axe is great. So then we'll Lightning Axe their thing in the ice. Discarding gut shot. They did it for a gut shot themselves. And then we're gonna thought scour ourselves. Ooh, drew the arc light. Okay. Um, They've got one Phoenix themselves. spell. We're going to flashback Faithless here. Alright, we got two Phoenix we can discard. Just going to swing. What do you like for uh, your sideboard plan when you usually go against the mirror match here, uh, Reese? So I was thinking about bringing in the spell pierces, the dispels, and then the surgicals. Um, and then possibly just trimming uh, the three gut shots. Um, at the very least. You like anger as well? Okay. What are you cutting though when you bring all that in? Should we be cutting cutting the swift spears as well? Because we're bringing uh, uh, bringing in the anger, so then we'd be cutting the three gut shots two swift spears, and then we've still got to cut two more, three more, yeah, two more cards.
you don't like spell peers. Okay. I will go with your recommendation and bring those in, cut that out. Let's try it like that. Why don't you like uh, why don't you like bringing in spell peers? Because if they're on the same plan we are, where they're bringing in like angers and surgicals, I feel like spell peers would be necessary to stop them from doing what we're trying to do. This hand's a bit slower, but we got a lot of cantrips going, and I think we have the surgical to take out their phoenix. So I think I'm gonna keep it. Put the island on bottom and then put the charm on top. You think we're supposed to have four surgicals? Seems excessive, but that might be right. Alright, they, they do have a thing in the ice. Just so we can see if we can find some of our relevant spells. Hmm. I want to discard the flooded strand. I'd like to keep the is it charm and the bolt because that means we'd be able to take out their thing in the ice. Morphos might be the right card to cut. I mean, to drop here because that way we can get to the three sources. Thing in the ice is a creature we want to keep. I don't really want to. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to go with. Yeah, I could see three being the correct call. thing in the ice we're not gonna be able to take out their thing in the ice but then we're losing our spells to get a thing in the ice flipped i think that's okay though because i feel like i'd rather wait for them to try to go off and then we just get rid of it in response so then they can't counter it all right so you don't like the phoenix because so people can't see the chat. You don't like the Phoenix because it's not stopping the threats that we necessarily care about. It's just stopping the cards that are going off. And even if they cast the spell, they're still going to get the trigger off thing in the ice or for the Phoenix. So it's not it's not proactive enough that it just slows us down. That's pretty reasonable. They're not doing much. I think we're going to try to take out their thing in the ice.
Okay. So we're getting punished pretty bad. Seems like that was a very, looking on it now, very poor play on our part. Because they obviously have four mana open and they can, we can pretty much do everything at instant speed, so. Oof. Removal spell, they got a beacon bolt. to hit another removal spell. That's not it. So that's game. Okay, let's run it back. Hmm. Yeah, I think we just, uh, I did poor timing there on trying to take out there instead of just uh, waiting. It seemed like that was the best call, is actually just to wait. Looking back on it now, I actually had the option to when they when they bend the thing in the ice with surgical to just take it out, um, and then eliminate half the threats in their deck. But I thought waiting for the phoenix was better. But obviously hindsight now would have been better to take out the thing in the ice. But So we've got a thing in the ice into a drake, but no cantrips and one bolt. So this seems like a super slow hand. Um, and we're just not doing much. What do you guys think? You guys think this is good enough to keep? This hand's so slow. And we're not flipping that thing in the ice because we've also just got no cantrips going. I think this hand is just too slow to keep. So, because even if we drop that Drake here on curve, it's just going to be a 1 4 at this rate, so we're just going to maul this. This seems better. And we'll keep that serum. And I'm not going to cast the Thoughts Cover here because I want to get the thing in the ice out first, and then we can start casting our cantrips.
Yeah, Reese, I think it came to the same conclusion that I wanted to ship that. Get another thing on the ice or try to see our vision this turn. I think we are going to drop another thing on the ice and pass. this turn. Doesn't look like it. Another land's not bad. Alright, they're gonna surge us. Luckily they're not getting anything from our hand. Probably not flipping thing in the ice this turn, but we can see if we can, uh, see how close we can get. Because uh, if that serum sets us up well, we're just gonna we're just gonna go for it. All right, that is a phoenix. That's not bad. I do want that land actually just because right now we're, we're going to be hard casting the Phoenix. So I'm going to put that on top and then that on top. I think we're just going to pass. Serum's fine. Looting. We wouldn't mind if they got one more Phoenix and then brought them all back so we can just anger. Two of them would be pretty nuts for, for them. But see if they're willing to just get one out. So we got Optum Island on top of the deck, so we don't want to really Thought Scout right here. So we're going to draw the Opt. And then we're going to draw. Keep it. Play the Island. We could go for like the Anger the next turn and then hit hit the multi thing in the ice but it seems like call is a bit much to try to take out one creature so I think for now we're just gonna pass they're probably gonna faithless on their turn Thought Scour here. I think we do. If we Thought Scour, 
I'm gonna try to get some Phoenix in the graveyard because I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to anger and bolt that thing in the eye. So if we hit it in the graveyard now, we'll be able to set ourselves up. Didn't hit it, but we hit a land. Oh, unfortunately, we hit a Sulfur Falls. Okay, that's fine. I think we're still going to Anger and then Bolt it. And then we're just going to plan on casting the Phoenix. and start swinging. their thing in the ice so we need to hit like a lava axe right now find this one. So charm doesn't seem good enough. So we're gonna bend the scalding tarn and the charm and we'll go serum visions. Uh, surgical. Hitting the arc light's not irrelevant but I don't think that's our concern right now because if we don't hit it if we, if we don't hit a lava axe, we're pretty much gonna be dead here. Think again. Still did not find one. I think we're gonna bend the steam vents and the metamorphose here, pass it over, and then try to dig for it next turn. If we can hit it next turn off the faithless and the draw, we're still fine. Otherwise, that should be good. not good enough. Can we find something to stabilize? Don't think so. Yeah, that's it. 
so you were saying, uh, you said flip your guy and swing reset. At what point were you talking about doing that? Is it at the turn that I have the anger and the bolt? This seems like a solid hand. Looks like affinity or hardened affinity. Looks like hardened affinity. I think we're pretty much just digging. We can go pretty crazy. gonna discard the lands here because then we can go thing in the ice next turn and then the following turn we can just chain morphoses into ops and on turn three have a flip thing in the ice okay I definitely missed that line so that seems like that was a correct play to just go bolt um, bolt there's cast the wipe the board and then we would have been able to do everything we need to this seems rough for us because if we run out the and running out the thing that yeah, seems like the correct play here but if we run it out they have one more land they can add two counters onto the ballista and then just take out our thing in the ice. But if we get to somehow get it back to our turn, we're gonna be able to, ju yeah, they have the land. Um, gut shot we might be able to bait them into trying to kill it again it's a double blue opt So in response to this, we can cast opt, 
They'll respond with our damage, and then we can go for the... The gut shot. Because if we gut shot right now, they're going to respond to it anyway. Unless they let it resolve, but they wouldn't because it would flip. So yeah, opt. then gut shotting here would make them have to lose their yeah gut shot them then they use the last counter take out our thing in the ice and they lose their thing they're left with just an ink moth if we can hit one more land, we'll be able to block that down. What? We can get another flip trigger? Why don't we... Why don't we get another flip trigger? Am I missing something? Did we? Why don't we get another flip trigger on the sack? So confused as what happened. Shouldn't we be another flip trigger there? I think this is game. And add a counter here. You can shoot two on the Phoenix, swing for five, shoot us for the rest. I'll have to go back and watch that video portion. I'm confused as to what I missed. I thought that gut shot would give us another trigger to flip the uh, Phoenix and bounce my stuff. So 
So I like the ceremonious, I like the abrades here. And I like the angers. And I think we're gonna take out the Is it Charm? I think I'm going to take out the Drakes here and the Swift Spears. And we're going to take out a single, single Cane Trip. Because I want to keep the Gut Shots because they have a lot that's at the one. On the lands. Yeah, no, I think we're good with cutting one Gut Shot. I'm gonna run it like this. Uh, we've got a lot of solid can trips, so we definitely need to hit a relevant threat. But we've got a lot of extra draws to make it worthwhile. Ceremonious is great. Well, we discard the Manamorphos here and the Mana. And we're just going to be able to hold off a lot of removal. So we just need to get ourselves a threat here. Oh, we have all the removal in the world. I think we're gonna bend the the opt and the axe. And just play the target and pass. Take out an ink moth. We've got two faithless in the grave. I think I want to just play the spire buff and we're just gonna pass it back. I like having four mana here because if we get an arc like we can actually just hard cast it and then start swinging. And we've got enough removal spell to just hold them off. If they want to activate the other ink moth nexus we'll just bolt that right away as well. Not an issue. Steel overseer we're gonna get, need to get rid of that as well. I'm gonna hold the a break because I want to be able to just take out an artifact later if we need to. All right, faithless. Uh, if we cast faithless, we're gonna have to bend whatever we snag. Yeah. Let's hold one more because I wouldn't mind if we find ourselves a thing in the ice. I don't, I don't want to have to. Um, Bend the Abrade, so let's hold one more card. Stirrings is fine. I got 
another seal overseer. Okay. I really like the the mirror match when they had beacon bolt. That seemed really sweet. I think we're okay with the one infect here because we want to get rid of these two lowers here. So they're just doing one infected turn, we're fine with that, but the Steel Overseer would have been able to just get everything else out of control. Seems good. We're just gonna pass here. Hold up the bolt, take out the ink moth. Ballista on two. Means we're gonna take out that ballista as well. here now. Oh, okay. If we bin the Phoenix and the Ceremonious, we could Thought Scour and try to hit one more spell. Alternatively, we can just hold the Phoenix and then just try to uh, cast it next turn, which seems like the not greedy play. Or we can faithless looting and then we're just searching for a land. Because yeah, then we can cast Thought Scour. That seems like the more realistic line, so why don't we do that? No. Because we get the land, we gotta discard it. So, yeah, we're just gonna thought scour ourselves here. Yeah. thing in the eyes if we need to trigger it later on. pretty good right now. Our opponent's on a really slow clock and we've got them in four turns if nothing else happens. Back. 
flashback this looting. We can flip the thing in the ice next turn if we want. As long as they swing with the Nexus, then we should have lethal. If they don't swing with the Nexus, I think we might just be holding. us the option to flip whatever we want. We could opt here, see what we hit, and then when we bolt. I think we can wait one more. I think we can wait after we swing though. Because if we if we try to bolt, I mean opt now, and then we in the end we're forced to bolt, we would be losing our Phoenix back to our hand which we might not necessarily want here because uh, we're in a pretty good spot. If they want to activate, are they going to chump block? Because I think we're okay with that. Okay. I think we're fine with this. We're going to be able to flip whenever we want. So either we're going to opt at the end of our turn and then uh, at the end of their turn and then faithless with the holding a bolt. Because if they try to just kill us here, we can opt and then bolt and then that should be the end of the game. So I think either way they go about this, we should have it. I think the only way this can go bad is if they have dismember. Nope, okay, they got an opal, so that just doesn't matter. So we got this here. They can do all their sacked effects, put all their stuff on wherever they want. And then we'll wait for them to swing. For it, we win. If you don't go for it, we win.
All right, that was solid. Let's run it back. It's interesting that a lot of the decks kind of seem to solidify around the blue-red version because there was a lot of other versions that were floating around for some time. Um, this hand doesn't have any aggression going on, but we're going to be able to take out all of their stuff, which means I am good with keeping it. And we're just going to pass here because I want to hold up Ceremonious. And another Stirrings. The card's so good! that card. I think it's enough of a of an efficiency card later on that I don't think we want to deal with this. Let's just get rid of it. You're just going to be able to generate so many cards from that that doesn't seem worth it. Um, happy we got the Phoenix. So I feel like what we want to do here is we're going to be lightning axing whatever they can and we're going to drop the phoenix and then we'll be able to just go serum gut shot lightning bolt um, next turn for sure or we can just go serum now try to set up our next turn with another cantrip no because we would uh we would have to crack this first so let's just pass for now because then that's the guarantee that we're going to get our phoenix off Cards we knew. It's an arc bone. I'll fetch this right now. Phoenix. They'll be able to go pay for two, add another counter on hanger back, add counter on everything, and I'm pretty sure we're dead. So 
let's just swing with the phoenix. Because then if they want to try to go off, we can abrade the nexus. And if they just activate and uh, add a counter on hanger back and then um, activate their ink mouth and add counters on, we'll still take out the nexus because then we can we don't have to worry about uh, dying to ink effect damage. There's the Ravager. Gonna fetch here. Do we want to swing? Uh, I'm liking it a lot. There's a a lot more going on with it than I've given it credit for, to be honest. Um, I played it two other times when it first came out, but very different versions of it. Oh, let's see, if we don't swing, they're going to be able to go counter, 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 add another counter, so that's going to be three, two. I think we're just going to... I think we're gonna have to hold. But if we do swing, we could potentially kill them if we get one more. Okay. We should be able to prevent death to ourselves. Uh, Cause they can't kill us through regular damage yet. They can't and they can kill us through ink moth damage, so let's just swing, bring them down to seven, and then next turn we're potentially just gonna be bringing it back anyhow. Looks like our opponent's thinking on how they want to approach it. Not sure what the holdup is. So yeah, we're gonna swing here because we can keep ourselves alive with an abraid. So Still thinking pretty hard. What about you, Ryan? Have you been uh, playing this deck a lot? Do you like this, uh, the the Blue Red Phoenix deck? They could add a counter, steal Overseer, add a bunch of counters, Arc Bomb, sack the hanger back to add three counters on uh, with three counters on to make three one ones and then block down our phoenix okay 
Okay, then I'm going to go for the Ink Moth. Add a counter. Steel Overseer. I mean, three mana Morphos isn't bad, but yeah, 30 bucks a pop, that seems rough. Are they just gonna let it trade? Okay. I think we're just gonna ship it back to them. Now they can present us with a pretty reasonable clock. Oof. Heart and Scales mixes. So we, if we go to a Braid Steel Overseer right now, they'll sack it to put one on Arcbound. And then they'll go two, four, sack it all onto Ink Moth. And then we're dead. Let's see what we can get with this opt. Land is nothing. Let it resolve. See if they want to go for anything here. They definitely have the option to kill us. Okay, they're going for it. Just gotta get thing on the ice going. And see if we can set it up so we can flip it. Alright, we got another thing in the ice and then faithless into bolt. Okay, let's put that on top and then that on top. And then we're just gonna pass here. Next turn, we can go Faithless into Bolt. Oh, we're probably taking five in the air this turn, or six in the air this turn. They could just swing with both to put us on the two turn clock, but. Does Ballista kill us? Oh, no, they're just gonna kill. Okay. This is annoying. Oh, I don't know how we can change this, but let's see what we can do. Bin this and this faithless because we've got to bolt their ballista. But I think we're dead, unfortunately. Because we're not we're not dead, but we're pretty much dead here because Oh we are just dead. <laughs> Oh, man. Well, 
Why'd they have to give up the list? So rude of our opponent. I mean, honestly, there's a... There's a... I mean, you have people you can just borrow it from. There's so many people with Manamorphosis lying around. But 90 bucks to uh, wrap up a really solid deck does not seem like a bad decision if you're very interested in playing the deck. Alright, this hand seems pretty sweet. I'll keep it. We're going to go Tarn here. Fetch up a red source. Drop the swift spear and beat them for one. <laughs> oh man. Awesome. <laughs> uh, what are the odds of that happening? <laughs> All right, we can definitely just flip. Um, thing in the ice here and I think that's where we want to be in life because uh, main board is pretty hard to take, uh, rid get rid of it so too good you're too good <laughs> we're done for
Yeah, 90 bucks to do stuff like that is, is pretty sweet. And this was a very strong turn, but I think Blossom's got us here. Found the gifts. If we put the two rituals in the graveyard, uh, Blossom is going to be able to go Manamorphose into Casting Pass in Flames and then go Ritual, Ritual, Manamorphose. But I think that's still the best way to hinder the mana as much as possible. And pass just cost three, leaving you one. And then they goes ritual, ritual, manamorphose, manamorphose into another gifts possible. Just need a payoff now. Send grave shot and noxious to the grave. It doesn't matter here though. We're dead. Same with passive flames. And get off the grave shot and take us out. Here. Oh, that was rough. We had a really good hand too. All right, we want the spell pierces. We want and we want the um, the dispel. We do not want ceremonious. We want the surgicals. We're gonna bring in the angers because of the uh, um because of the empty the warrants plan that they can awesome could do to us. Um, I'm gonna cut the gut shots because we don't really need to do anything one to their side. We just need to uh, hit it for more than that to take it out. We don't need the swift spears either. So we're gonna run it like this. Unless we wanted to bring in the abrades. The abrades would take out the lords, which isn't unreasonable by any means. Yeah, let's do that. Let's take out two serums and then bring in two braids. Alright, this is fine. We got some interaction and we got looting. I mean, unless you got some stuff you want to trade away as well. If you can trade it away, then it's like not even an issue, right? All right, let's go looting one more time. Uh, we're gonna bin the two lands here. Spider, we're gonna pass.
So we can bring back the Phoenix to start pressuring, but the awkward part about it is then we wouldn't be able to have, they could drop, drop the Lord and just go off. But if we don't start pressuring, then we're not going to win. So. I don't think I really like going off here yet. I think we're going to hold off one more turn. Phoenix. We'll keep that. Because what we're going to do... Oh, we got another one. What we're going to plan on doing is try to see if they can play something out, and then we're going to Phoenix it, and then bring multiples back. is in the grave and then pieces they kept empty and they kept echoing truth Ugh. okay you're just gonna pass again Empty here is pretty good. I think we are going to just try to see if. Okay, so they have an echoing truth in hand, so going for the thing in the ice plan is going to be pretty rough. The arc light plan is not any better because they can, once again, just. Hit us with the uh, echoing truth and put us in a pretty awkward spot. Let's go for the thing in the ice first. Make them uh, do the echoing truth on that. And then we'll see if we can get uh, the phoenixes back. Substantiate. I still got the echoing in hand. This is for 12. If we bolt one, I don't think it matters. Looking rough. I think we would have had to hit exactly a land thing in the ice and then chain really well off of it. OK, 
because we are dead. Oh, good job crushing us. Oh, we are 0 3. Oh, I didn't think you would. I wasn't worried about it anyhow. You didn't have to, because uh, I went off and only could deal 10 damage. You went off and killed me with 22. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good cantrips. We got to get the phoenix in the graveyard. Well, that's serum. All right, we don't want the Drake. I will take the serum. Thalia. Yeah, you played that well and definitely sequenced it properly for your storm. They have another one? Oh my gosh. Well, let's drop the thing in the ice and put that in. I think this might be the. Is this the human sack? I'm just going to pass it to them. We can't cast those other spells other than dropping the Swift Spear. block here because I don't want to let them just be able to bolt our thing in the ice. Whew, belly is lieutenant. Okay. Time to play tapped. We'll put the Swiss spear out there, and we'll pass it back to our opponent. <clears throat> Hold up, bolt here.
We'll take the three. Oh my gosh, they have another Thalia. We're getting punished so hard for killing those things. Not the Phoenix. <sighs> I'm thinking we're just going to be blocking with the Phoenix here. Swinging with just the Lieutenant. Throw the Swiss spear in front of it. Not too far off from getting our Phoenix flipped. I mean, our thing in the ice flipped, not our Phoenix flipped. Champion, okay. We'll fetch up the steam vents. Okay. So we're gonna be able to flip next turn. Unless we can hit a land. So why don't we try to do that? Sweet. We'll pass it here. Sure. Okay, that removes the possibility of a pass. We just have to worry about a bolt now. in hand. Drawing the cards seems interesting. Maybe they're just trying to find another red source or something. Probably play double bold. I don't know. I don't know what they could have had there, honestly. Okay. Well, if we faithless here, we might be able to bring back all of our phoenixes. So we go Phoenix, Phoenix, where are the cards we're going to bend? Plan. We'll draw two, discard two with Charm. Bend that and... The Axe. And we're just going to gut shot them. And that 
Faithless is a charm. Faithless and cut shot. So we've got all of our swings. And it should have lethal next turn. Yeah, I definitely think this is the Boros Humans deck. Or the Boros Soldiers deck, rather. You know, if they bolt the Phoenix like that, we're just gonna bolt them. Or bolt all the uh Alright, with it being the human stack, I definitely want to bring in the abrades. Um We're gonna bring in the rending volley as well, the angers. Don't need so much of that at the top end. I don't think we need the Swiss Spears either. And we'll trim a single gut shot. Not bad. See if we can make this not such a <laughs> an O and four. <laughs> All right, two removal spells and some cantrips. I think we're okay with this. a faithless loom pretty soon here. I swear, if they have like three thalias again, I'm gonna cry. Bugler. They're gonna find a Thalia though. I just know it. Gosh darn it. <laughs> oh. hmm. Do we want to hold up mana to take out the Thalia or the Bugler or the Mutavolt and then start casting the Phoenixes? I think that's what we want to do. Deal with a 3 2 first strike or a 3 4 body? I think the 3 4 body. We're not gonna. Yeah. I think we'll have to do the 3 4 body.
don't think we can race them right now because they're going to be hitting us for six damage a turn if we swing. Um, so I think we're just going to pass. Bolt seems pretty good. Serum. Okay. So we're going to go Arc Light and then Faithless. We can go Faithless here. And we're going to add a red and a blue. And then we can Faithless Looting. Then the Phoenix and the Phoenix. All right, so that's three spells. Um, hmm. Serum, Metamorphos, Phoenix. I think we just want to hold up the bolt. And hit them for nine. And we're going to just try to kill them here. Because we have a bolt to back up to take down one of the creatures if necessary. But they're only going to be swinging at us for six. And if this connects. Um, we can see if we can hit another, if we, if they don't get anything and it's just the six, that's fine with us because then we're just going to kill them with the swing and the bolt. So as long as they don't increase their pressure by any bit, we're going to be good. All right, they're going to bolt us. They're gonna, so that's going to definitely hamper things. Okay, they're going to bolt us again. It's pretty rude. Because now we're dead. Alright, they swing everything. I think the only shot we got staying alive is if we were to hit a another bolt. Nope. I don't think we're going to change anything, so let's just run it back. The only other thing that's consideration is the young pyromancer, just to clog up the board a bit. Not against that. Let's, let's try the pyromancer out. And we'll trim one spell. Let's trim the opt. Anger's pretty solid here, so we'll keep this. And we'll then land, land. We'll take the two here. Rest in peace. 
That's pretty rude. Okay. Since there's no value in milling ourselves, let's just uh, mill them, get an extra card. Play that, we'll pass. Okay, we're taking the two. Field Marshal. Okay. So we will <coughs> we're going to I want to get rid of them and then keep our thing in the ice. So we're just going to go to our turn and we will anger. Yeah, during your turn, spells your opponent's cast cost one more to cast, and abilities your opponent activates cost one more to activate unless they're mana abilities. It's pretty rude. It's, uh... So if we wanted to bolt it, we couldn't. So let's just drop it in tapped. damage for them. Tides Taker is also fine. swing okay. oh yeah got our first win <laughs> all right let's try to win this last one and go two three that deck's pretty strong though it's pretty aggressive it's uh i think just like a solid list it's doing pretty much what the humans deck's already doing with um a little bit of interaction um to disrupt the opponent and then just dropping quality threats but I'm not sure if it's really worth it um, to play that over the human stack, though. Oof. We are on the draw. This hand's really slow. But we've got Thing in the Ice into Phoenixes. Uh, I'm going to try it out. I don't know if this is actually worthwhile. Like, it might not be worth it to keep a hand like this if we don't have, like, a Faithless Looting with Double Phoenix. But if we draw a Phoenix here, I think this hand gets pretty crazy.
pass it over. Looks like they're on storm. Bolt. Nope. I think we dropped thing in the ice. Just pass. And if they combo off, then they combo off. Looks like they're passing it back to us, though. Just gonna ship it here. I mean, at any time we could find another burn spell with Metamorphos, but. If we don't need to cast anything, I'm fine with not casting it, because I'd love to hit a Faithless first to discard these Phoenixes. Electromancer, okay. They can really go off now. Thoughtscar, okay. Let's Thoughtscar ourselves. Have one more spell. That'll work. So we are going to Metamorphose. Okay. So fine, we get gut shot. So. so we're just gonna axe the chief. No, we're gonna axe the electromancer just in case they have another chief. gonna beat them for 10. Well, you know, actually, even though it could have been the line they, got, they had double chiefs, it might have been better just to make them do the Electromancer because then it would have eaten up their red source and they only have the one red source right now. Um, so they would have had to hit another red source to start uh, chaining off with their rituals. So I think that actually probably would have been the better line. It was irrelevant here, but I think that would have been the better line. All right, so we're going to bring in the spell pierces, the spells, the surgicals, the angers, and the abrates. Um, and the running lolly. All right, so we're going to cut the gut shots, the swift spheres, the crackling, and then we're going to cut the uh, three ops. And then run like that. So this is going to be our last match here. Uh, is there any recommend uh, requests for what you guys want to see this week? Check in to see if I'm streaming either Tuesday or Thursday. I think I should be able to stick to the same Wednesday night. Yeah, it looks like though I'm good for Wednesday again, so I'll be doing the Wednesday night stream at 6. So if there are no requests, I'm probably just going to be doing um, the updated Vanifar pod pile I've been playing for one of them.
Titan's a bit rough. With not having another source, but I lend Seer was good enough for most decks, so it's good enough for us. <laughs> I'm just going to take out the, oh wait, no, it's, no, not making that, um, we can't do that, so we're just going to play Thing in the Ice and pass. Almost, is it Charmelay does two damage and Barral's a 1-3, so almost made a mistake there. Serum here. Was curious where you're at. Right, Faithless is solid. We're going to shock ourselves here because I want to be able to hold it. That is a charm. I'm going to counter that. Well, that's nice of you. I think we're going to start things off here with a Manamorphose. See how our opponent reacts. Alright, they're going to go for the Unsubstantiate. They're targeting Manamorphose though. We're okay with that. Doesn't let us go crazy, but we can still, um, we could still Faithless Looting here, drop the Phoenix in the grave, and then next turn go for going off, and at the very least we're gonna be able to Fig in the Ice here and get them for seven. Yeah, I thought they were going to unsub the uh, thing in the ice. I was very surprised they didn't because they could have set us back and we would have had to put all the counters back onto it and we wouldn't have been able to cast thing in the ice that turn, so. No, I definitely think you're reading it right. It bounces either a target spell or creature back to the owner's hand. I 
and that's the match. All right, so definitely had some clunky plays in um, in the deck, and I think uh, optimal play would have given us a, like, at least a three-two record there. Um, deck is sweet though, so if, if you're looking for a really, really aggressive tempo deck, I think this is the way to go. Um, it attacks and it's really resilient, and even if they wipe the board, your phoenixes keep coming back. Thing in the Ice is just a beating with this deck because you can just make it go off right away. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, uh, if they would have uh, unsubbed the, the Thing in the Ice, um, Manamorphos would have just let us drop it down, but we wouldn't have flipped it that turn though, because then we would have only got one tr uh, one counter off it, so then it would have been at three, and then they could have had their turn. So I feel like just having the extra turn without losing their lords would have been worth it, um, but I don't know. But that is going to be it for tonight. Uh, let me know if you guys want to, like I said, just shoot me a message or anything like that. Um, if you want a particular deck, I'll be back uh, online on Wednesday at 6 o'clock. Um, that's my plan right now is just to do Sundays at 6 and Wednesdays at 6. Um, if no suggestions come in, I'm probably just going to be playing uh, the Vanifar deck. Uh, might just run that a couple leagues. Um, I did Electro, um, I think, went 3 2, right? Which was uh, pretty nice. Um, so not bad. Definitely f feel like it, the the for Electro the fact that it can't do anything against um, against like Rest in Peace is really weird to me. Like I feel like I would be splashing a little bit more green. But the videos are done. So what I'm going to be doing here is uh, I'm stop recording now.